have bales too. They're so happy. Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea and Todd. <laughs> um, I'm missing a lash too, so we're just not gonna talk about it. It just is what it is. Um, we have stuff to do. Dad and I are also going to a concert tonight, so we just gotta get a bunch of stuff done. Um, we gotta work that last group of calves, those youngest and smallest ones that are in the hoop barn, get them kicked out. Because with how warm it is, um, I'm wearing my bibs and my winter boots right now, and I probably don't need to be, but um <laughs> can you tell it's gone? Uh, we gotta get the cows out of the field because if it's gonna rain, it's gonna keep getting they're gonna get it's gonna get muddy, compaction, all those things are gonna happen. So we gotta do some rearranging, sorting, get everybody in the barn, and like calving starts in 18 days, 17 days. So all the things, but we're gonna work calves, get some of that stuff done. So come along for the fun. Todd, you're not coming with. <laughs> it literally looks like spring outside and it's January 31st. If you follow me on Instagram, I talked about this yesterday, but I feel so weird about this weather. I'm not complaining. Like I much enjoy the temperatures, right? Like it's good for mental health, all the things. However, I'm nervous about these livestock um, animals in general shedding their coat because if they do and then we get cold again and have a nasty snowstorm, we can have some major problems. So um like it's not normal to have pneumonia this time of year and i'm like this is pneumonia weather right now so i don't know and maybe it'll stay mild the temperature outlook looks pretty mild um i just don't want them to shed everything if we stay in the 40s and 50s the next week plus like the forecast is and then it's muddy uh, my vehicle's like whoa and then they end up you know getting too cold when the temps drop below zero again and we get a nasty blizzard with a real feel of whatever i don't know i'm just like What's happening? Like, this is, it's not normal for January. Isn't it early February? Like, I don't know. Mixed emotions. I'm just more like erring on the side of caution of what's gonna happen. So, there's that note. Cattle need time to adapt to weather. And while this is nice, if we go opposite direction, that's where we're gonna have problems with drastic changes. And there's been big issues before with blizzards and stuff coming. Or like cattle get rained on first and then the temps drop and then the snow comes and then big problems happen. So I'm just kind of uneasy, I guess. Wow, I came out here to look at tags and mom's bringing calves up already. Look at her go, like a rock star. I think that took us like four seconds, maybe 20 minutes, if that. 
rock stars. There's seed on my phone. Anyways, better done. Um, peppers get a pepper implant specific to female hormones. Steers get a steer one, uh, Fibular XS and XH, and then we also poured them. That way they have that for license such and all the funness. But about 40 head done, it did not, it took us like 20 minutes. So it was quick. They filled in nice, smallest calves, they grew, worked well. Next year we know how to pull the smallest calves off when we lean, help them out. But this is what, uh... wow, dad's bedding, he's quick. Dad's cleaning a pen. This is what the implants look like. This is a longer day implant. This is 200 day implant. When we gave them their first one, it was like a 90 day implant, so there's less pellets. So this will slowly dissolve um, and be absorbed by their body, release hormones at a very specific times to help them increase the rate of gain and improve feed efficiency. And there's a very minimal difference between calves that have been implanted in the feedlot and cattle that have not when you look at the meat at the end. So they'll have us in their system. We won't sell them until like it's been through because it helps with marbling and all the stuff at the end, but that's what it looks like. This goes under the skin of their ear. Implanting is a really great technology in the beef industry, and I believe in it. I know people are like, ooh, hormone free, but there's not much of a difference at all. So. You're so quick. I didn't take you very long. I didn't take you very long. I'm a guy. So yeah, okay. Nice. Yep. Okay. <laughs> nice ride. We worked calves in like 20 minutes, so it didn't take you long at all. Shit okay, Sterling. <laughs> God. Be free. She's so tame. I don't know why. I mean, her mom's nice, but... Come on, kids. You guys weren't used to how warm it is. It's huffing. Huffing and puffing. It's been like this since like day one. Just. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You can unwrap bales too. Look how much more efficient I am than you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Comes the power. Crazy ladies coming in hot. This is so exciting, and they're not even doing that much. Go! Easy, Toots. Surprise, it's on a good spot. They're so happy. Two pens clean, third of the way clean, and heifers bagging up. And can cows sorted, so. Yeah. Well, hey, um, 
it is officially midnight. <laughs> Same day I was recording this video. Um, we I finished up chores quick and then I showered and got ready to go to a concert. Dad and I went to Disturbed and Falling in Reverse as well as Plush opening tonight. Um, so I have mentioned before, but hard rock, rock, alternative music, that is my jam, my dad. So like, we just enjoy that. So we had a nice little uh, concert adventure, but uh, this is the ending to the video about gearing up for calving season and all of the fun stuff. I think I'm like half deaf in one ear right now still, but it is what it is. But anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the next one of probably hauling more manure and more gearing up for calving season.